Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another gardening project. So if you caught my plant mail video last week, you know that I ordered some Shirley Temple peony tubers and a Cafe Ole Dahlia tuber from a gal on Etsy. I will leave her info down below. This is not sponsored. I bought all of these things because I wanted them. So, um, two weeks ago, we planted one, two Jacorma peonies that I got at my local nursery. They are plants. I will link to that video down below, but I did so much research for that video um, uh, because planting in my zone 8B peonies can be a bit of a trick. They need more cold hours than we get. They need more shade and less sun than we get, even though they do need sun. So I have planted these two down here, my little shade part of the garden. And I have now picked up two more tubers, the Shirley Temple peony tubers. The Shirley Temple is supposed to be another really good um, peony type variety to grow down here in the South. So that is my number one tip. If you are trying this, even though I have no success rate yet, I'm still learning is if you're going to plant peonies in the South, make sure they are the right variety to handle it. So I'm going to go ahead and plant these tubers. I've got two spots ready, one right here and one down there. We're going to plant the tubers and then we will see when you plant tubers, typically it will be at least a year or two, maybe three before we get blooms on these guys. Um, but we will know pretty quickly in the next year or so, next couple months, you know, if they've taken and if they're growing and if they're growing, then that is a really good sign. So I've never planted a peony tuber. So again, I've done a lot of research. We're going to dig our hole big enough for all the roots. You want to plant them with the growth points up. So for example, this tuber, here are our, all of our growth points on the top. So these will go upwards and these, this part of the tuber, the elongated parts will be kind of to the side. So not necessarily straight up and down like this, but with the growth point straight up. And then in the south, you need less um, space over the top of them. So everything that I've read, including the card that she, the girl from Roots and Sheets sent, said, I only need half an inch of soil at most over these growth points. So this part of the top will be just about at soil level. So let's go ahead and dig our two holes and then we will get these planted. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull back all this compost on top. I'm going to start tightening that because it feels loose. about using an auger in the garden is that it really flings dirt everywhere. But it's okay. What nice fluffy soil around those tubers, so it's going for it. I want my portfolios. So I'm going to go ahead and put this tuber in. So if you saw that unpacking video, you know that I got four tubers, two for me, two for mom, two medium ones, one baby, and one really good one. And so since it was Mother's Day yesterday, I let her pick which one she wants. She wanted the two medium ones. So go ahead and position this guy in here. Need a little bit more soil. Looks good. shake of that and now I'm going to start to backfill this guy in here I'm 
Once I've got it snug as a bug, come back, cover them over. Like I said, you only want about half an inch of soil over the top, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna grab this delphinium tag and mark where he is. That way when I come to water him, because I am gonna water them in today, I will know exactly where to water. And I just sprinkled delphinium seeds out here. I just put the tags out anywhere because I wanted to remember to water down here. So I'm just gonna use that delphinium tag to remind myself. There's a peony. There's a peony there. A little begonia. These begonias, they're annuals, but they came back this year. But last year, and I'm not sure why, and they never really grew last year. I had landscaping fabric down here that was to suppress the grass when I put up my new garden bed last year. And they grew on top of the landscaping fabric, regardless that I cut holes for them into the ground. So like I've been coming through, I just moved one from right here where we're gonna put the other peony and popped them down there. And I don't even need a shovel. I can literally just pick them up, root ball and all, and move them because they never rooted past the original landscaping fabric into the ground. So I am hoping that by coming in, removing all that landscaping fabric and rooting them in the soil, maybe they will grow bigger and prettier this year. We'll find out. Let's go ahead and do the second one. Okay. I have to step in here for this one. But same thing, we're gonna get to the soil. making a huge mess. Okay, good. That's helpful. I'm not 100% sure if this stuff is good for peony roots tubers, so I am not putting a whole bunch in. And I'll fertilize them as the season goes on. Okay, so you can see the growth points are up. The tubers are sideways. I'm just gonna start back filling in this hole. I wanna make sure it's underneath them as well. Perfect. No air bubbles. And this is all top coated, top dressed with um, co old compost. So it's not hot. Won't burn the little baby tuber. There we go. Mark him with another delphinium tag. And I'm not sure that might be a little high. I think he might should be a little lower. So if once I start watering in the next day or two, I still can see those tuber growth points, I might come and lower him just a little bit. But that is it. We're just gonna water him in and call that good. Let's pop over to the porch and I'm going to show you how to plant up that dahlia tuber now. All right, y'all, so I'm up on my porch because until I get my shed up and running and installed, it's supposed to be here this next week. You didn't know, I'm buying a shed, I'm very excited. Um, this is where I do all my potting on my landing because it's for the most part a little shady, and it has enough room to put out my potting mat. So this is just a rubber potting mat that I picked up on Amazon. You can clip the corners in and then when you're all done potting, if you've got dirt everywhere, you just pick it up and funnel it back in the back. So, you know, nothing exciting, but it's a great mess saver. So I'm going to go ahead and pot up my dahlia. 
Now, hopefully I will be able to plant this guy out in my raised bed um, mid-June, July. But right now the raised beds don't exist because the shed has to go in before the raised beds go in. And I do not want to wait until mid-June or July to plant my little Cafe Ole tuber or it will not grow enough this season. So we are going to just pot him up in this little pot. This isn't anything exciting. It's just a black pot from one of my other pots that came in this decorative pink pot. And then, you know, I'm gonna have to just keep him on my porch. He doesn't need light until he germinates, but he does need warmth. We're in the South, so that's fine. It is always warm here. If you are in the North and it is not warm enough yet, I think it needs to be like 40 degrees or higher for your dahlia tubers to be outside. Then you can always bring them inside until you start seeing that germination. He doesn't need light. So this is the only other thing I got from Roots and Shoots. It is that Cafe Ole Dahlia Tuber. And here it is. So I don't know much about Dahlia Tubers. I know that these are the tubers. You need the tuber, the neck, and a growth point or an eye above the tuber. So from what I can tell, these tubers to me look broken. Don't know if that they are. This is a tuber with a growth point right above it. And this is a tuber with a growth point right above it. So technically I might be able to take these bottom three off, but I don't know enough about them to feel comfortable doing that. I don't want to hurt them. So I'm just going to plant it directly like this with the eyes up and the tubers down. And you want to plant it from what I know so that there's about half an inch inch of soil over the eyes. If I'm wrong, please someone tell me I've watched a lot of videos, but that doesn't mean I know anything. Put a bit of this in as well. Again, if that's bad, let me know and I'll redo it. But we're just gonna lightly cover them with soil. See, that's why the mat's good because y'all might be neat, but I'm not. And then they need very, very, very little water until they germinate. So I'm going to water them in but just a smidge. Honestly, I've seen people that just use moist um, potting soil. This is just a potting soil. You don't wanna use garden soil. You wanna use potting soil, something for a container. There we go. So there's my Dahlia tuber all potted up. Like I said, I'm going to um, water him in very lightly. This outside decorative container does not have holes in the bottom, but the inside container does. And I went ahead and I put um, a few rocks in between the two pieces. That way when I water it in, the water is able to go through the first container into the bottom of the second container. And if it starts getting overwatered, I can take it out and just dump the water out of this pink container. You do not want your dahlia sitting in water. They really don't like that. That is the one thing that was consistent in all the videos I watched. So we are going to just water this in. I'm going to set him up here as close to the house under the porch as possible so he does not get rained on, um, but so that he's warm. And when he does start to germinate, he'll still get light, but we may have to move him to the other side of the porch where he can get full sun once he's started to germinate. But for now, uneventful, but that's literally all we're doing. I only have one tuber, so short and sweet. If you liked this video where I planted up my very fancy tubers, um, peony and dahlias, like, comment, subscribe, show your friends, tell your mom. I will be back with updates on how they were doing. Um, hopefully in the near future, I believe these tubers should start to germ germinate anywhere from 14 to 20 days. So we're not going to see growth like immediately, but we should see growth in the next month or two. So there we go. And then the goal is to get my new beds in, um, the raised beds in, in June. It is currently the very beginning of May. So hopefully this guy takes about a month to germinate, a month to grow, 
mid-July, I should be able to put them out in the new raised beds where maybe we'll get a bloom or two. If I was doing this properly and I already had the raised beds, I really should have potted this guy up mid-February, early March, and be putting him out in the raised beds right now. But planted is always better, and I figured might as well do it even if we have a short season. Short season is better than no season, and then he'll be ready to go all the way for next season. So, goodbye for real. <laughs>